Hello and the day has finally come to rack the wine that we made in the earlier video. As you can see the uh, the liquor has cleared really well and there's this thick layer at the bottom and we've got to, like I said in the first video, we've got to separate the two. What you'll need is a clean sterilised demijohn, a siphon tube that you can get in any brewing shop and a small bowl of sterilised water. I wasn't actually going to do this video today, it was going to be a video on how to re repair a puncture on your bike. Um, unfortunately Storm Adrian I think, or Aiden, has, uh, has stopped that. It's very blustery outside and it's raining so uh, I'm not going to do that. Anyway, let's, let's get on with it. You can use an ordinary tube to do the siphoning, but it's better to get the proper tool for the job. This one's got a little cup at the bottom to stop the sediment going up the siphon tube. Now, I've got to do this in one take, so wish me luck. First of all, take the airlock out and drop it into the sterilised water. That's because we're going to use the same airlock on the new Demijohn. Oh, that smells strong. Now we've got to suck Ah, oh, that's the best bit. <laughs> now we've got to suck the wine into the end so it goes right up to the end of the siphon tube and just sterilise that because I've had it in my mouth. And now we empty it into the demijohn. It can take a while. Make sure you don't push the cup right down into the sediment to start with because it will disturb it. Right now I'm going to tip it forward. You can probably see the sediment begin to travel across the top of the surface there and just before that gets to that cup we'll pull it out. And there we are. All we have to do now is uh, top this up with water. Well there we have it, one racked demijohn of wine. Now this would probably have to uh, stay tucked away for a, a good month or so, sometimes a little bit longer before all the fermentation stops. The one behind me was racked a couple of months ago and it still is fermenting slightly. Now if we bottle that before it's ready, those corks will go skyward. There's one thing I forgot to mention, make sure that you sterilise the siphon tube before and after racking. It is re really important that you keep everything absolutely clean. Well, that's all for this week. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that little bell if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching and goodbye.